Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. As we get into the afternoon hours here, it's a shift from this morning. I think I know, Ben, you've been talking about some uh, heavy weather coming in for some people. Yeah, and we're already starting to see some of that develop, Dave. Nothing severe yet, but starting to see some lightning strikes in northern New York. And, you know, in this kind of atmosphere, when everything is so humid and so energized, it really doesn't take much for those to grow into actual thunderstorms. And I think one of the best ways to illustrate this is if you take a look at the Plattsburgh cam here, you see all these puffy white clouds those are just kind of blossoming up out of nowhere, and a good amount of these will end up becoming showers or perhaps storms. So that's why we really have to be on our game today. Stay weather aware. Make sure you have the MyNBC5 mobile app because it really doesn't take much for any of those to blossom into storms. 81 right now in Plattsburgh and looking across the rest of the region, more of us reaching the 80s still at 79 in Middlebury, 78 in Saranac Lake. But man, the dew points are way up there today. Upper 60s for a lot of us, up to 70 in Lebanon, Rutland, feeling very uncomfortable out there. Let's get you a look at Storm Tracker, show you where some of these storms are starting to blossom up. As I mentioned, most of the action is here in northern New York. Franklin County starting to see more shower activity, but I want to draw your attention to this little complex of storms down here. It's starting to push towards the Tri Lakes. You see how it had a lot of lightning flare up lately? That's the kind of thing we're going to be watching for. So I'll be watching this very closely, and if needed, we'll get you an update if it does have a warning put on it. Elsewhere across the region, we're just watching this little shower pushing towards the Route 7 corridor. So Middlebury might be getting a little bit wet in, a, say, a half hour or so. And then towards uh, New Hampshire, just past Lebanon, down 89 here near Grantham. Just a uh, little shower here, a little bit further north and a couple more showers out there too. No lightning associated with those. The bigger picture here, you can see we have a lot of storms starting to flare up. More severe thunderstorm warnings going up over western New York. The main front is still well off to our west in Michigan, so it's going to take a while to get here. So to that end, the slight risk, the level two out of five will stay in place. It was actually dragged a little bit further to the east, so now encompasses more of the northeast kingdom and more of the uh, upper valley there. So what does this mean? Essentially, it means any storm that gets a severe thunderstorm warning could have damaging winds, could produce some flash flooding and some small hail. There is also a very low chance of a quick tornado, but if you think back to a couple weeks ago, this is looking like a lot less of a concern than it was back then. So not too concerned, but of course we'll keep an eye on it for you. Taking you through the afternoon on Futurecast, these storms start to become a little bit more widespread by evening time, especially when you check in with Tyler for an update. It looks like we'll have some pretty heavy weather here in the Champlain Valley. And this is the actual front that ends up coming through. Could come through at midnight. So we may be dealing with these severe thunderstorms well into the overnight. That's why it's just good to stay weather aware. Ahead of those storms, the dew points will continue to rise a little bit, probably not too far from where they are now, but watch what happens as we go into the weekend. Front comes through and the dew points have a big improvement there, going from the 70s and 60s down to the 40s. You're definitely going to feel the difference there. It'll be a welcome relief if you've been sick of the humidity. But we got to get there first. Impact Icon is up for the rest of the day, just for those strong thunderstorms rolling through. But then check out the 10 day. We go to 75 tomorrow, then down to 62 on Sunday, and we remain quite cool through much of next week.